Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Warhammer Plus, if it is a success, if it's just horrible, is it going to be getting better? Um, I wanted to wait to today to do this because as you can see um, from this video, they've just dropped a brand new trailer of what's coming with Warhammer Plus. We'll go through that in a second. Um, but I just want to say before we jump into this and we start talking about everything, I just want to make it clear that everything that I'm going to be talking about is my opinion so don't get offended if my opinion is not the same as yours if you like something then good for you two thumbs up you go ahead you enjoy it that's all i've got to say okay so don't take too much offense if my opinion differs from yours right so let's start of course with this new trailer because this is what i was waiting for because i was hoping they would show some things to maybe boost my confidence in warhammer plus and sadly it's not been boosted at all we saw some more animations from the hammer and baller thing you know the tyranid stuff we saw some age of sigma stuff in there and um, something that did pique my interest was the imperial armor books you know i was a fan of them back in the day and um, one of the things i was really looking out for is the start is too but it doesn't look like that's going to be coming this year um, at all, which again, um, sad robot noises because I'm sure most of us are actually here waiting for a start is too. That's how much of a cultural thing a start is, um, is. And we'll talk more about that later on because this is one of the big points of the video I want to start talking about. Um, we saw some new models released in there as well. It looked like a new um, Horus Heresy cataphracty model. It kind of looked like a mini Horus. Um, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's a new Abaddon model, like back in Horus Heresy or something like that. Literally no idea. I think the other one is like that fantasy art kind of thing. And um, that's where my mind goes through um, with that itself. Um, but anyway, let's move on and let's talk about Warhammer Plus from the day it launched to where we are right now. Now, of course, we have to talk about the controversy around the fan animations. I think that has affected Warhammer Plus in a massive way. A lot of people were loyal to these YouTube channels. Um, as someone who has uh, a YouTube channel, I have a loyal base of followers. Other people on their YouTube channels have loyal bases of followers. So when Games Workshop came in and affected those channels, it really rocked the boat. It sent a shockwave out, actually. It's probably one of the biggest backlashes I've seen from the community, and a lot of people, myself included, um, didn't choose to pay for Warhammer Plus. We said, no, you know, we don't agree with what you're saying. Um, we were supposed to be getting a statement from Games Workshop before Christmas, apparently. That's what they said during the investor meeting. That never came. No idea if that's still going to be coming. Um, but again, that's probably another subject for another day. So that is one of the things that I think that has um, been one of the daggers in the side of Warhammer Plus. Another thing is the content itself, or should I say the lack of content. Now, I've always stated, I've always been on the record saying this, saying that Warhammer Plus would suffer at the beginning because it would have hardly no content but even i'm shocked at the amount of content that it's actually been putting out over the past couple of months well how, how long has it been out now let's say like nearly six months now if i'm not mistaken four four five months let's just say uh, let's just say four months um but i expected them to like to fill the void with a lot of bat reps because at the end of the day that's what this company is a bat rep or warhammer models and stuff like that so i thought okay they'll just put out like three four bat reps and um, tons of painting tutorials everything like that to really you know fill that void of content because when it comes to animation content you can't put that out there right away because that takes time to produce i know this a lot of people know this so i expected yes they would have the angels of death the drip feeders that um the hammer and bolter they would drip feeders that but the content that went beside that i was actually really really shocked for like to receive one bat rep per week i'm like come on games workshop this is literally literally your main earner is models and rules right this is this is what we're all out this is what we're all buying maybe that was down to staff issues but again that's down to games workshop itself surely you know a company who's making this much money can hire more than maybe one uh, bat rep um, um host um one more video editor two more video editors whatever to start producing the content that is needed for this new service and actually, on the subject of bat reps, I have to say, like, from the bat reps I've watched, the 40k ones, I've actually really, really enjoyed them. The banter's nice, and the editing's nice, uh, the little story that goes along with it, the models are painted nice. I've really, really enjoyed it, but it just feels so much lacking 
in the content, like, you know, maybe two or three bat reps. Um, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not saying purely 40k, maybe one 40k, maybe one AOS, and maybe one specialist game, Warcry, Necromunda, um, Titanicus, you know, something like that to keep changing the flavor up to give people more content for this service. Another thing as well I want to talk about is how they're actually producing this type of content. And what I mean is like this this week is a perfect example is um, we have the Gene Sealer Codex and the Custodial Co Codex going on pre-order this Saturday. Now, it would have been absolutely amazing if they actually previewed the Gene Stealers versus Custodes in a bat rep. Uh, but instead of that, they've chose, I think it's like an AOS bat rep. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why they've done that. Surely marketing should be like, say, hey, Let's get the hype up for these custodians. Let's get people excited for custodians. Let's get people excited um, for gene stealers. We're already previewing the rules over on the website. Let's show them this in action. Let's show them how cool it can be. Why are they not doing this? It, it just boggles my mind this stuff is not being done. Now, with the animations themselves, I'm sure people have discussed this to death already, but I just want to give my pointers on this. I was actually waiting for everything to be shown off so I can give like a full you know, viewpoint in it. Um, first thing with Angels of Death, I am planning to do like a full review of Angels of Death at some point, but all in all, I did enjoy Angels of Death. Yeah, there were some things in there that really I didn't enjoy, like some of the sounds, the bolter sounds, the chainsaw sounds, some of the battle effects were really off. Sometimes the music was like off, like from the actual battle scene itself, it just bursts into life sometimes, and it's like, okay, that seems a bit weird, the music came in there, but all in all, I thought it was good, like, I've seen people um, bash the animation, um, the facial animation definitely is something they need to work on, that probably wasn't, well, it wasn't the best, you know, it, it did look odd at some times, um, some of the battle animations were great, some of them were pretty just bl bland and just look very stiff like one of the things that stood out to me i think it was when like the space being slid across the floor or something and um, right at the start when they um shoot the gene stealers i wish i could show you in the background but i don't want to just in case they maybe copy strike this uh this video i don't know what i'm going to show in the background it's probably going to be some um ec footage or space marine footage i'm sorry um in the background of um this video but yeah um some scenes seem very fantastic some scenes were just were just not good at all that's probably the best best way to describe it but all in all that animation gave me um a lot of joy i actually enjoyed it in the end i thought i thought it was a pretty cool i love the ending um i love the story it told um i loved how they did it the the black and the red and stuff i know some people didn't like that but for me i did enjoy it all in all i would probably give it like an eight out of ten um, just need to improve some of the audio issues, some of the animation issues, and that'll probably bump it up to like a 9, a 9.5 or something like that. Um, on the other hand, the hammer and bolter stuff, um, I have to say, is probably some of um, the least inspiring stuff I've watched um, in Warhammer. Now, uh, I know we've all talked about the animation and that, or the lack of animation, how they actually did it. Um, I'm, I'm, I am a fan of animations, you know, different types of animations, but I definitely did think in that animation, um, with the company that's producing this, Games Workshop, you know, this is a multi-million pound, billion pound company, people say, um, I expected a lot more in terms of um, the animation that came in this. I thought the stories they were trying to tell were pretty cool. Like, I did love the Yarrick one, um, the book one in the library, I, I'll be honest with you, I more or less just fell asleep on that one. I just, I, I can't really remember what happened now. It was that boring. The Inquisitor one was kind of cool. Um, the uh, the robot one, uh, the, the, the Mechanicus one, I thought that was pretty cool. But just the animation in there, I thought they could show off the action a lot better. Um, again, just the story themselves really held some of those episodes up. And that's why I'm probably going to give it like, a four five out of ten you know just average just because of the story and um the voice acting in that because the animation was just it just wasn't good for me and just going back to the astarte subject which i mentioned at the start um this is one of the biggest head spinners for me when it comes to astarte is, is i think that they should be producing some of the warhammer plus stuff and putting it on their youtube channel to maybe entice people in i cannot for the life of me understand why they've took a start is off YouTube, put it on their Warhammer community website, put it on the Warhammer Plus um, site, so you can watch it free or you can pay to watch it, but they haven't put it on their YouTube channel. 
one of the biggest things about a start is about these fan animations, which I think Games Workshop still don't understand. How many people were brought into the 40 KIP because of these animations? The amount of times I went through the comment section on the Astartes videos, on other animation, uh, fan animation uh, videos, and saw people asking, hey, what is this? What, what, like, what's that armored guy? What's that alien? What's that evil thing? And then people are having like full on conversations with these people, explaining it what it is, and then seeing the excitement of then people replying saying, wow, that is amazing. We don't see that anymore. That is something what Warhammer Plus has stopped. It's actually stopped people getting into Warhammer. The people who are subscribing to Warhammer Plus are people, well, I won't say like me and you because of probably most of you haven't subscribed to it, but, you know, Warhammer fans, the people who are already a part of it, and it's always nice to see new blood come into the hobby. I know some people disagree on that, but for me, I love seeing new people getting uh, getting excited, um, get, getting into the game, building their first armor. I think it's a great thing to have, but sadly, those days are no longer available to us. The other stuff to attach to it, like the books and everything, um, that has never interested me. It never interested me, to be fair with you. You know, it was all about the animation, maybe some of the bat reps, so I can't really give my thoughts and feedback on that because I've... I'm, I'm not interested in that at all. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on that. I know some people have complained that some of the White Dwarf stuff they put in there, they've basically taken all the rules out because they don't want you playing like old rules. They want you to keep buying the new rules, which I think is a pretty crappy thing to do. You know, if people want to play old rules, then why, why, why not? What, just, just let them. Just let them play where they get the most fun out of the game. You know, I, I don't think they're going to stop buying models from you or anything like that. Just let people get enjoyment out of your bloody products. So yeah, from the get-go, from where we are now, I think the content that they've been producing is very, very underwhelming. I expected a hell of a lot more. Again, not in terms of animations, because I, 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 again, I can understand the animation stuff being very, very light, but in terms of bat reps and painting tutorials, I expected a lot more from this company to producing more stuff like that and that that's not like a slant against any of the hosts or anything i think they do a fantastic job of explaining stuff showing the game having that interaction with each other they do a fantastic job it's just the content itself there's not enough content on there for me to justify the price to someone like if someone said hey varak would you recommend warmer plus i would i i would honestly say no I, I really would at this point, I would say no, I'd say there's not enough content on there to actually justify this product for you. I know a lot of people have actually bought the, like, the yearly subscription just to get the model. That's all they got, like, they didn't even care about the content to just get the model. I'm sure a lot of people keep doing that, is just buying the subscription just to get these new models and stuff because Games Workshop have made it clear that these models are apparently going to be exclusive to Warhammer Plus only. So the only way to get it is to buy a subscription to this service or go on eBay and find it for... Um, a price on there, and we all know what scalpers can be like. They can probably ask for like you know twice as much, let's say. So um, yeah, it's um, it's one of them things where for me, I think Warmer Plus has been a bit of a failure. I actually, say it is a failure for me. Again, that is my opinion. If 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 you think it's been a success, then you ride with that. You know, I am happy that you are happy. People I've been speaking to who actually signed up for this, they've all been dropping. They're, they're like, nope, I'm 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 not giving it a look in this year. Um, um, I gave it until last year, and it just didn't live up to the hype that they were hyping up for. Um, again, I'm sure I mentioned this before. Over the Christmas period, over the Christmas period. When people are off, people are like spending as much downtime as possible. There was hardly anything released. This is a time when I thought they would have like gone into maybe a little bit of overdrive and actually put out more bat reps, actually put out maybe more painting tutorials, um, more just stuff on there for people to actually see. But instead, it was just the drip feed stuff again. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just lost for words. I'm just lost for words on how they're actually putting this content um, um, out there at the moment. Anyway, Chaprunios, um, I'm sorry if this is coming across as like a negative video. You know me, I always try and smile, I always try and have a laugh and stuff. But when it comes to stuff that I don't agree with, you know, I have to be straightforward. You know, I'm not going to lie to you and say, yeah, everyone, everyone go and get it. It's amazing when it's not. If, 
if I don't support it, then I will tell people why I don't support it. And, you know, hopefully I've, I've listed the reasons why I don't support it um, um, in this video. Um, I would love to get your thoughts and feedback on this. If you've got any, um, if you like it, tell me what you like about it. If you dislike it, tell me why you dislike it. Um, let's try and be civil in the comment section. Let's not attack each other. If someone likes it, then let them like it. If someone dislikes it, then let them dislike it. It doesn't affect you, does it, as a person at the end of the day? This is where I keep seeing like these comments on the Warhammer animations, and I don't really want to get involved because it just seems like you're jumping into a bucket of shit at the end of the day, and the best scenario is that you've got to be coming out covered in shit, and... <laughs> That's not what I want to be doing. Um, but anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you're having a great day. I'll see you. I'll speak to you all soon. See you now and bye-bye.